Hello everyone, today we are going to say how to pull and upload an image file from one farm to the other farm using dilute scripting. First let's create an employee farm. We'll have a field for the photo. So this is an image field and we can also collect their signatures using the signature field. Now we'll create another form to display employees photo as well as signature. I'll call that employee information. Now we are going to pull the record from employee form. For that we'll use a lookup field. We will select employee form, display the name. To display the image from employee form, we can use an add notes field. We can call it display photo. One for photo and the other one for signature. So this is a display for photo without any text in it. I will add another add notes field without any text, display signature. Now in the script bar, I'll click on the employee field, the lookup field. Click on configure field actions. This will take me to the on user input of employee. To fetch the record from the employee, we will use fetch records task. We'll declare a temporary variable here that will be employee object. And we will pull the data from employee form. We'll compare ID of employee with the current forms employee field. So this will give me that particular selected employees whole record including the image as well as the signature. We can assign the image value to photo that will be emp object dot photo and then input dot display signature to emp object dot signature. So this emp object is the temporary variable we stored by fetching data from the employee. Let's go ahead and add the data and see what happens. We'll upload a photo. We'll draw a signature. If we access the employee report, we'll see the data right here. The photo, signature, and everything. Now let's go to employee information. Let's pick that employee and see what happens. The signature returns some weird text and the image does not return anything. Actually it returns, but we don't see it. Now we have to fix that. For example, if I have to display employee's name here, if I display employee's name under display photo, it will display employee's name just fine. I go ahead and click that. It's going to display employee's name just fine. But when it comes to image, we have to uh, first identify what do we get and then we have to put this in a format that the browser can read. Let's put an alert for employee objects photo. Let's just go click that. Okay, there is something but we don't see it. To see that we click on right, we right click, click on inspect element. We go inside and here it is. So this is the actual text we get for display photo. All right, so we'll go here for EMP object photo, what we get is this. But if you access the employee report, we can see this photo. And if you right click and inspect that, right click, copy this. If you compare this image output on the report versus the output we got through script, there's a huge difference. That is the reason why we didn't see the image right here. So now what we have to do is we have to make this response look like this. We'll replace shared by with the owner. We'll replace the applicant name with the applicant name. We'll replace view link name with this. We'll replace field name with ID as well as photo. And then we have this image iPhone download. So we'll do everything right here. I think the, the last part is perfect. The image name that is perfect. So we need to work on this stuff. I'll declare a temporary variable. Hold that photo in there. We have a replace all function in deluge that comes in handy. We can use replace first. That's more than enough for us for now. Replace first of will replace shared by with Zoho dot admin user will replace app link name with zoho.app name 
we will replace building name with employee report this has to be hard coded you don't have any zoho variables for the views or reports then we have field name for field name we need everything from here to here so this is a field name we understand that but this is the record id of this particular chosen record to include that so we do amp object dot id then put a plus just like that and then we'll replace image with image iphone download we can assign the photo string to display photo the add notes field we go to employee information form select an employee we'll see the photo right here if you look at this the size of the image is bigger you can also add another script right here to add the width and height replace first of img with img and width equals remember this is a single quote we say that we say this is 100 by 100 image we can do the same thing for signature but with the signature it is different so let's just assign signature value to display signature and then we'll do the same comparison with this report as well as the actual selected value we go here we get this so for signature this is what we get uh, on the script side but when you look at it on the report inspect element this is what you get we'll create a signature string and uh, create this type of value if you look at it it just returns the signature name we'll generate the whole content just like how we generated this but we're not going to replace anything here's the script for input that display signature we'll take this out we'll copy everything in here put it right here we'll put everything inside a double quote but since it is inside the uh, the descripting the double quotes is not allowed so we'll replace everything with a single quote if you look at this it has this and this the same so everything else has to be generated from here to here we can replace that with a variable called zoho dot app uri and then employee report is just the employee report can do nothing about it but this one is the id employee object dot id we have the signature field img from download this part is the the value we got through script we'll replace this part with a employee object dot signature creator export dot zoho dot com that's that's a static value that will never change for these two you can replace them with zoho dot app uri we can also use zoho dot admin user and zoho dot app name just like how i did above and then employee report zoho does not have a variable for for reports we have to hard code it this is an id for the selected employee the record id replace this with the employee id and then signature is the field's name we are going to trigger an action the url action that says image download that is a static value as well and then this one is the one we got by referencing emp object dot signature now let's see how this looks like on the real form select this employee here's the signature and here's the image so if you have any questions please feel free to send an email to zoho at arbrc.com.